Welcome back, everybody. So I've been working a little down here, just trying to get it all outlined. So I've decided I'm going to widen up the hallway quite a bit through here. So this is going to be the hall. So we'll have the wall here, the hall of the wall right here. So this is all going to be floor. And I'll have to do the same over here, just sort of push it all out this way, kind of mix in a little cobble. Actually, I probably don't need the mossy here because this is probably going to be covered up. Let's see, where's this at? So, yeah, so the wall is going to be behind that pillar. So, yeah, so I could, I could probably just do cobble here because it's going to have a block on top of it. Ooh, ooh, oh, dang it. What the heck? I was looking, doing a little look see, and uh, we'll just climb our way out of here. Ooh, a hidden passage or a hidden compartment. I must have carved this out. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, here we go. Okay. Why? Yeah, there we go. So I guess I'm running up into my exploration caves. Let's do, where was that? Yes, yeah, so we were putting the wall here. And I've added quite a few. So all these chambers, not all of them are going to be full. I'm going to fill some of them. And really, I should have started putting in the names back here. Like that would be the oldest part of it. And this would be the newest part. But we'll pretend, well, we'll just, we'll just use the logic that I just did. When they were building this place, they left this empty, filled this in as it was needed. So this was the oldest part built here. And then you move down here. This is all newer. And we've just filled all this out. It's not even probably half full because we're going to wait for the... It's just waiting for additional occupants to uh, move in. So you can get a good idea of the layout from up here. Added in a bunch of these uh, crypt areas. Little crypts. We have this main corridor, it goes all the way down, and then we have these uh, like three branches going off in either direction. This over here is just going to be a no man's land. I'll just box all this in. There'll be nothing inside there. But I think what I need to do is put a roof on this place, because that'll, that'll help me uh, build the walls once I get the roof on here. So I'm going to uh, hop into a time lapse. We'll add in the, uh, the roof and probably uh, some of the flooring and stuff. And then you come back and you can uh, see the rest of it.
well. That time lapse kind of gets us caught up to uh, where we are now. So that gives me the base skeleton for the whole place. So I just need to fill in the walls and stuff. So like here, I think I'm going to have to go like this wall is going to be right here. Let's go across the top. And then just remembered I can make a mossy, uh, mossy wall there. I forgot all about that. Until I was putting some blocks in there, I put the uh, mossy cobblestone in. And it's like, oh, I forgot. I can actually make a decent, uh, or not decent, but a different wall block. So I'm just going to do that here. I probably should mix it with a different type. There's not really enough room to put a pattern or something in there. So I think just leaving it dark like that. Now this is really dark. I don't really like, I don't really like it that dark. And I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to have mobs spawning here. Let me go get like a candle or something. Hello, fellows. Why don't you go, uh, Wander around the rest of the building, or the rest of the uh, town. You don't need to be just hanging around here. Let's see, I know I have a flint and steel. Let's see, so it's going to put... Like a candle there. And I want to put another couple over here. I don't think that's going to fix my lighting problem. Maybe if I do here. Nope. But maybe if I do, let's do... Oh wow, that really brightens it up. Okay, I think that'll work. Can't really see much in there, but it gives it that spooky atmosphere right there. So let's see. So how do we want to do this? Because I've got the roof here. So maybe if I do like that. You know, I thought I was going to have plenty of stone and stuff after clearing out this mountain. But I'm actually running low on stone. I'm going to have to pull into my reserves. Which is kind of weird. Because you would think you'd get a lot more stone. Although I do have um, the dirt and stuff, so that's going to help when I fill in the uh, fill in the rest of the planes over there. Let's see. So how do we want to do this? Let's do that. That ooh, that's really dark. Well, I think. Yeah, I'm going to have to glow lichen this up, so I will come through here later with glow lichen and stuff and get rid of all those little red X's. For now, something like that. How did this... Let's see what I did over here. Because that seems a little heavy. Oh, I did it this way. Yeah, I think that. Yeah, let's try this. Do I have the stairs? I don't have any stairs. You would think I'd be a bit more prepared. But this, yeah, that looks just way too square. So 
So let's um, actually let's do this. There, I'm gonna just gonna fill this whole thing in because I don't want a baby zombie or somebody spawning back there. Put those there, and then I'm just going to. There, like that. Hmm. No, I don't like the way that looks either. Let's do this. There. That's going to light it up a little too much, probably, but we'll see. Yeah, maybe something like that, and then we can do like a column in between. I think that'll work not exactly what I'm looking for but it's it's gonna have to do plus it's just an accent wall back here so I think if I just you know if I can get by with it I think I will this might be a pain I get to keep digging back here So I got to looking at this hallway and it's a little too plain. Doesn't look, it's not majestic enough. If that's a way of looking at things. So I think what I need are some columns to hold it up. So I'm going to do, do these right here. that and then we'll carry them over so they go like this I wish I had cracked uh, cracked bricks or cracked um, what are those called cracked whatever those those stairs cracked stairs that's what I wish I had I think did I I was, oh, there it is. I was pretty sure I had a. Uh, let's do this too. There we go. Yeah, that looks more purposeful. So I can pop this one out. Where'd that one go? Huh. It's like it just like disappeared. Very interesting. Okay, where's my stones? We can go. That could go there, and then we'll just run the column up into it. Yeah, so we'll have a one that goes across like this. This actually makes a little more sense too with the uh, cathedral up above it's got a, there's a lot of weight up there to hold so I am pretty sure we would need supporting columns yeah like that and these will probably end up having that same backing like that yeah I'm not putting any cubby holes or anything in there so So I guess actually I think I can do the same same exact thing I did over on the other side. So if I do like that all the way up.
there. And I guess that means I need to back there. Back it up like that. Yeah. So that, that keeps a consistency down this hallway at least. I kind of like the consistency in the hallway. So you still so match up on the other side. Yeah, we've got that big gap right there. So this be here. The columns go across the same place. Even though there's a wider gap in a few places here, but I think that I that's more realistic almost, you know, because you're gonna need some kind of supporting brace. So I think this lends a heaviness to the ceiling, like it needs it's got a weight that needs to be held up. So that's what I need all these columns in here. Even if they're not like the perfect architectural detail you would add, you have to have them or you're going to be crushed. Because it's not like modern art does, you know, designed for a building where you would do flying wings and all this kind of stuff. This is really heavy, medievalish looking stuff. I don't have room for, tor for another candle. I'll have to figure someplace for a candle. Actually, this is where this comes in, because we would have our normal column coming down here, which I guess I would do something like that. And then we'd have another one here. Yeah, I don't think, um, yeah, that might work. Do that. Add a little arch detail there. And I think, yeah, I'll put one here. I think these are going to go all the way down. So we'll have another one here. Just sort of carry the theme. I can mix it up to uh, like normal, normal stairs. Okay, I think, yeah, that is starting to look pretty, pretty good. Yeah, so I'll have to come up with lighting here. I'm not going to put anything in the wall because I want to keep it dark. It's almost too light here, I think. At least I've got this really dark spot you got to go past. Make you a little nervous. Yeah, like here, this is almost too light. I don't know where the light's coming from. It must be that torch there. Yeah, let's get rid of that torch. Okay, that darkens it up a bit. And then maybe over here, I know I put a torch in here. So this will be where we put the glow light into to finish this one off. I'll put a little piece of glow like in there, I think. And that'll get rid of that red, you know, it'll keep it really dark there. And I don't have to worry about looking really bright and shiny. Boy, there is a lot of walls to build. So I think I'm just going to have to uh, get on with building them. The design here is going to be the same as over there. So it's pretty straightforward. The only new stuff I had was this hallway here which is completely new, but I think this works. 
Oh, and I need to get more cobwebs because I am out of cobwebs. So I'm going to have to do a hunt, a mining trip, I guess, to get more cobwebs. So I'm going to end it for today. I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you're having a great day, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.